Hailing from the East, it is your boy Dan the Beast 94 here, continuing now with the 2002 pay per view collection reviews. And this time we have King of the Ring. King of the Ring took place June 23rd, 2002, in Columbus, Ohio. This would be the last King of the Ring pay per view before WWE discontinued the event up until its resurrection in 2006. But this would be the last King of the Ring pay per view. So. Here we have the cover here. Uh, I don't remember what the tagline for this was. Probably says it in the back of it. It's been a long time since I've seen this DVD. But there you have it. Triple H, The Rock, The Undertaker. The Undertaker making his many appearances on the 2002 DVD covers. I think this was like, oh my gosh, I can't even recall how many DVD covers he was on. Uh, let me think. No Way Out. Insurrection, Judgment Day, this, and then Vengeance. So he was literally on five DVD covers for the year 2002. So that's pretty neat. And as you can see in the background, we see Hogan and Angle, Taker and Triple H, Guerrero, Flair, uh, Lesnar and Robbie and Dam. And let's take a look at the back here, Columbus, Ohio. The era of the next big thing has begun in WWE, as Brock Lesnar would be the winner of this year's King of the Ring. And let's go over the match card. So, starting from the bottom up, Tess versus Brock Lesnar, and we also have Rob Van Dam versus Chris Jericho in the King of the Ring tournament semifinals. Cruiserweight Championship match, The Hurricane taking on Jamie Noble. We have Ric Flair taking on Eddie Guerrero. Women's Championship on the line with Trish Stratus taking on Molly Holly. Hollywood Hogan taking on Kurt Angle. King of the Rings final match. Winner gets a shot at the Undisputed Championship at SummerSlam. Rob Van Dam versus Brock Lesnar. And then we had the main event. Undisputed Championship match. Undertaker versus Triple H. Now, Rock was on the cover here, but he did make an appearance. He did not wrestle um, as he was a part of the main event. Basically just doing commentary and later on wailing on uh, The Undertaker. Leading up to the big triple threat match at Vengeance. Uh, also, this does have uh, DVD extras. King of the Ring auditions. Um, the Lion. The Tough Enough. Uh, the Tough Guy. The Queen of the Ring. King Tup. Behind the Scenes. Uh, interviews with Kurt Angle, Tess, Jamie Noble. Uh, the new King of the Ring. And let's take a look at the DVD cover here. As this does come with an insert. Very, very nice. Just the bland white. Uh, I remember seeing a photo on... Uh, I, I believe it was Google Photos. And um, WWF did advertise this as WWF King of the Ring before the name change. So I thought that was pretty cool. And here is the spine. Forgot to mention that. Uh, another thing that I really didn't get about this event. This was a good event. Don't get me wrong. But there was some false advertising foreshadowing, I guess you would say. As um, I'm not sure if you guys remember. But uh, Triple H walking in the back. Runs into the NWO. And basically NWO was like, hey, if you need us, just throw it up. You know, basically like the wolf pack sign or whatever. And that never led to anything. Which was kind of weird. And would have been really cool to see how they could have gotten involved in that main event. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that like button. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. And subscribe. Especially if you're going to be watching my videos and you're not subscribed. What are you doing? Hit that button. And until next time, guys, DNBs94 signing off.